Hi everyone, this is the second part of my bookshelf tour from my big book closet. Um, I don't know if I will be able to put it all in one video, but I'll do my best and maybe we'll have a third part. So, this is the first part of my book closet. I have all my Harry Potter books in Dutch. Um, and this box contains my UK edition, the entire series. And I have Tales of Beetle the Bard twice, once in Dutch, once in English. Then I have Quidditch Through the Ages and Fantastic Beasts Where to Find Them. I have the original 2001 release, I believe. I found them on eBay before they went to reprint, so I'm very glad that I did. I got them for like 350 or something. Excuse me. And then I have The Lexicon by Steve van der Ark. I know this isn't official, but I thought it would be good. But it ended up being very disappointed in it because there were just mistakes in it. And things that just... It wasn't right. So I'm really hoping that um, Joe will do an encyclopedia. I can't pronounce the word, so excuse me. I'll put it in an air balloon. <clears throat> and um, I really hope she writes one and it ends up being way better better than the thing that I have there. But I can't... No, uh, tossing books is not my thing, so I'll just keep everything. That's why I have quite a few books in here that I don't like. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, yeah. So when I go down, there's another cube. I hope you can see, because I can't go any further, because this is my bed. I have a really small room, so... Um, what I have... I'll try to sit in a way that the light hits it. I have the... Alchemist by Paul Coolio. I have Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend. This is uh, mostly alphabetical order. I have uh, Cecilia Ahern's books. Um, Maggie Alderson is one of my favorite chick lit authors. I really want more of her books. I have Mad About the Boy. And I believe the English title of this one is uh, Pants on Fire. And <laughs> it was hilarious. Um, I reread both of the books and they were still ridiculously funny. Then I have um, 20 Times Lady by Karen Bos Bosnack. Bos I hope I uh, didn't butcher that. And I have John Boyne's The Boy in Striped Pajamas, which I loved. And it totally teared me up at the end of the book, so... If you haven't read it, it's it's really small. Look, it's like let me see, two hundred pages, little over two hundred. I have the movie tie-in of the mo the movie cover, and then I have the Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. I'm really a little bit hesitant on reading this one because I saw the movie and I hated it and I bought the book after afterwards but now I can't stop thinking about how I hated the film so please let me know if it's worth reading otherwise I just have to do something else with it um I have Roald Dolls um the best of I'll keep my hand in the And I have some Dutch chiclet. You'll see that most of the books on the bottom shelves here are chiclet or adult fiction. Um, since I haven't really been into uh, YA uh, earlier. Uh, like I am now. So, yeah. Moving on to the neighbor. I have... Pillars of the Earth by Ken Foley, and the book totally surprised me in how thick it is. And the <laughs> it's 
The letters are so small. I no. Maybe I'll take it on holiday and just read that book because it's like a thousand pages thick of something. So yeah. I have Marion Keys. Um, this one was a gift of one of my friends and I started reading it but somehow I couldn't get into it. I hope I can read it sometime soon because I love the <laughs> cover. I bought some library bind-ups. They're really ugly so I'm going to put them away or something. But <coughs> See the cover is so pretty. It's really soft too. I should read this. I love it. Uh, th this is one of the books that I I really adore for the cover. I have some more Marion Keys. Let me put this back. Then I have um, Daisy's Back in Town by Rachel Gibson, Emily Griffin, Giffin, sorry. This is a Dutch title, I don't know the English one. Okay, now let me tell you something about this one. I, sorry, I got this one, I don't know where, but I believe that I bought it in England. Yes, it's in pounds, so I bought it when I was in London. This book sucks. I hate this book. I read like 100 pages and it keeps being boring. And I kept waiting until it got better, but it didn't. So frustrating. Now I can get the book in. Whatever. <clears throat> then I have Ten Men by Alexandra Gray. This is the Dutch version. Most of those chiclet things are by the House of Books. So they have similar um, covers. Memoirs of a Geisha by Arthur Ooh, Golden. Hey. Okay. <laughs> um, Olivia Goldsmith. I think this is called If Love is Blind, but I don't know because it's Dutch. Let me take this off. It's easier. Then I have Jane Green, Second Chance. Also a pretty cover, not really my style, but I like it. More Chiclet it's by Penguin. Then I have... Linda Green, Ten Reasons Not to Fall in Love, another book that I bought in England when I was in London. I love book shopping in, in the UK. I don't know, it's better than in the Netherlands. One, the prices are better. The Secret Shopper's Revenge by Kate Harrison, another one from London. Then a book that I hate and haven't touched since I got it in. This is about a man that gets buried alive. I believe that the, the English title is Dead Simple or something. It's by Peter James and I hate it. I won it in a contest of a Dutch bookstore. But no, just no. Then I have Just Like Heaven by Mark Levy with the movie cover. Reese Witherspoon. I like Reese Witherspoon. I think she's a great actress. I haven't read it yet, but it should be good. And then I have Kathy, Kathy Kelly. I think the title is "What About You" or something. The, the translations of the titles to uh, to Dutch they're just plain weird. I just don't know. So let me put. I'll put that back later. Going up, I have my vampire cube. I'm starting with Twilight New Moon, Eclipse Breaking Dawn, and I have the second short life of Brie Tanner in hardback because they didn't have it in paperback. I prefer to read paperback books, so that's why I have 
like 90% of my bookshelf, no, 80% is paperback. But yeah, I actually ended up liking the second short life, the short second life of Bree Tanner better than the rest of the series. Um, I read and reread the series, and I gotta be honest with you, the first time I loved it. The second time, I liked it a little bit less, but the longer I thought of Twilight Saga, it just... It was wrong. Edward is a stalker, Bella is pathetic. I just feel with Jacob, really. And don't get me started on the writing. But anyway... I have the Nightworld series by L.J. Smith. The first, the second, and the third, they have the same cover as the, as on the side. I'm not going to take those out. Then I have, I took them out before I showed you Twilight. I have The Vampire Diaries, the first and the second, The Awakening and the Struggle by L.J. Smith. The Fury and the Reunion, the third and fourth book. Then I have the fifth book here, Nightfall, and the sixth one, Shadow Souls, which I haven't finished yet because something came in between and I put it aside. And I need to find room because I can stand that book five and six are here, and the other two that come before those are on top of them. So I'll figure something out. And then here's my book set from House of Night. The first four books marked, Betrayed, Ch Chosen and Untamed. I've read the first and the second and I'm on to Chosen now. Let me see if I can... This is what the books looked like. <laughs> This one's better. There's a poster inside, but I'm not gonna... Oh, I'm gonna take it out. I thought it would be more difficult. I'm sorry I'm wrestling with the poster. So yeah, that is the second part of my bookshelf tour. Stay tuned for the third part because I can't fit it in one clip. See you next time. Bye.